This is the Con exclusive BAM box. The Salt Lake City Comic Con exclusive BAM box. This is one of what I like to call the OG 150. That's right. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. I got in on the first 150 of these that were made available by the awesome, awesome, awesome team at Bambox. Um, they made a few of these available to non-Salt Lake City Comic Con folks, and I picked it up, and um, I was, like I said, I was able to get in. The site went bonkers. Everything went haywire. People were mad. Oh, they were mad. Um, and they've changed the way that they're doing it now, but that's okay. I don't care. I am in the OG 150 for the BAM box. Uh, the only complaint that I do have, um, and it's not with you, BAM box, it's with the post office. Post office. What kind of crap is that, huh? Huh? It looks literally like somebody stepped on my box. If, by chance, this is damaged in any way, I'm coming for you, post office, because this is the BAM box. You don't jack around with my BAM box, all right? That is totally unacceptable. What is that? What, what, what is that, post office? Seriously. Um, also, uh, this took a strange trip. It arrived in my city on, like, Sunday. Uh, even though it was, like, delayed, it was supposed to be delivered on Saturday, it, like, stayed in Phoenix, like, overnight, because it was like, I like the weather here, what's up? And then, uh, it came to my city, and then my city was like, no, 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 we're gonna send this to, like, another city, like, an hour away, and then that other city an hour away was like, yo, you don't belong here, go back home. And I'm like, dude, just give him a damn box! Um, and then it came to me, so, it arrived late, uh, it arrived smashed, um, it, it, it just, and I'm not mad at Bambox, this is not a Bambox thing, because here's the thing, right, this is, this is the post office, this is them, they, they jacked it up, they made the mistake, um, but I want to say something briefly, I do some customer service, uh, as my second job, um, these things happen from time to time, as you can see, I'm not really all that mad about it, uh, but I can understand where it would be frustrating, can I just tell you something, if you have an issue where the post office or UPS or FedEx loses your package and you call the company that you bought the package from and you complain to them about that post office or FedEx or UPS losing your package, I'd like to let you in on a little secret. The person on the other end of the phone hopes you die. Because really, honestly, it's not their fault. So I'm not mad at Bambox. I'm a little pissed off at the post office. I'm going to say something to my postal lady if I ever see her, but I don't. Um, but hey, at least she knocks on the door now when the boxes arrive, instead of just dumping them on the porch. So I guess baby steps, right? Baby steps onto my bad box. Okay, so let's open because I'm so excited to open this thing up. I can't wait any longer. Um, I really don't know what's in here. I know that there's a weapon. Uh, and that's really what, like, threw, I was like, I gotta get it. They said there's a weapon in here. I am hoping, I am hoping for a batarang. Like, I would, like, yeah. Like, I, the rest of this box could be hot garbage, and I would be cool as long as there was a batarang in here. I know that there was a 80s collectible that I guess wound up being, like, an elf or a E.T. thing. But since there was some issues getting these out uh, on time anyways, um, Bambox actually upgraded to a, uh, a one-of-a-kind sketch card. So there's two items in here that are one-of-a-kind, um, and one of them is a sketch card, which I believe is one of the Bianca Thompson sketches that I did get in last month's uh, Crazy Box. So, uh, let's take a look and see. See, I can't even, like, set it up right. I have to set it this way. Uh, how's it go? How are you doing? I said it this way to open it because it's all jacked up and it's not outside. And they got this nice little handle, I guess, for the convention folk to uh, to carry it around, uh, which is convenient. It's very thin. It's much, much thinner than normal band boxes. Um, and it looks like there's no like lid. Usually, there's like a lid type thing on the inside. 
with a pin. Uh, that is not the case this time. I don't even know if there's a pin in here. Um, but let's take the paper out and see what we got. All right, I can't see anything. Nothing looks damaged. Okay, nothing appears to be damaged. So we are good on that. I see the one of one card, so we will do that first. There's also, it appears, no one-ups or instant winners in the box, which is kind of cool. Um, everybody kind of is getting the same basic stuff. So, bless you. Was that you, Batman? It sounded like that. It might have been, or it may have been Hawk Girl. Was it you, Hawk Girl? Bless you, Hawk Girl. Okay. Uh, so my one of one sketch card is yes, it's Bianca Thompson, and um, it's Job of the Hut uh, uh, being choked out. Uh, it's an interesting, it's an interesting choice, of Bianca Thompson, um, to have Job of the Hut uh, being uh, choked out. Uh, um, very. Very weird, but very cool. I love the design. I love the look of it. Uh, I just like the idea um, of these sketch cards. They're really cool. I may put this up on the Bandbox community um, and see what I can get for it because I think these were pretty highly touted. And I'm not a big um, Star Wars fan, so I might try and see if I can switch this up with something, um, possibly. Um, but I like it. It's, it's cool. It's unique. It's different. And then they also they put it in this protective case. So um, it's not going to get damaged, which is really cool because if something like this is a collectible. You want to keep it as good as possible. This, I believe, is my weapon. I'm going to hold off on that. There is a pin. Oh, hey, there's a pin. Ooh, it's Thanos. It's the Mad Titan Thanos. Um, this is a con exclusive pin. I wonder if there's numbers on it. I don't know for sure if there would be. Um, it's not a variant pin, so probably not. Uh, nope, but just as Bambox exclusive. There's no numbers on this. This wasn't... Um, I don't know if there was a variant to it or not. Um, they've been doing the gold and black variants, but I think they've been switching that up. Um, so I'll have to see. I'll have to check out some other videos. I'm sure other people will be posting these. They did another round of these boxes after the Salt Lake City Comic Con. And um, those are going to go out after the September box. So it may be a while, but I might uh, be able to see some other stuff. So um, I'm going to hold off on uh, possibly maybe trading some of this stuff until I see what else other people got. But the nice thing about Bandbox, they've got a little community set up on their website. Um, you can go on there. You can talk to people. There's some really cool people on there. Um, and uh, you can, uh, you know, swap out items. So you can say, I can go on there and be like, hey, I got the Thanos pin. Um, and I want such and such. Anybody willing to do a trade or anybody want to, you know, work out something and, and people can work out trades. I see them happening all the time. I haven't partaken in one yet, but I'm hopeful to maybe one day because I just think it'd be kind of cool to... It's kind of sharing in somebody else's experience. So let's see what we got. We have... Oh, we have an autograph. Ooh! It's the Katana autograph from last month's Crazy Box. Um, very cool. Very cool. I liked Katana in the movie, but I felt like she was just super underused. So this is really awesome. This is Karen Fukuhara. Um, I love her signature too, by the way. That's that's super dope. Um, comes with a certificate of authenticity. This is very cool. I was uh, hopeful that I would have gotten this in last month's box. I did not. Um, so I'm really, uh, really excited that I got it in, in this uh, kind of exclusive box. Um, so far, this kind of exclusive box has been off the charts. I have a license plate here. Uh, let's see what it is. Kansas KAZ2Y5. I don't know what that is. That doesn't stick out to me. But if I go into my brain and do a little thinking, I'm sure if I think hard enough, I can come up with the answer if I just K A G five. Um. Oh, you know what? Uh, this is from Supernatural. Thank you, Google. Uh, this is uh, from Supernatural. I guess. I don't know. Um. Cool. I guess. I don't know. I didn't know they. I, they it said there was gonna be a license plate in it. Um. 
I figured it was probably just more of those out of time license plates, but it's cool that they did something different. Um, I wonder what other variants of things people got. So um, maybe there's something cool out there. So maybe somebody on the Bambox community might want to trade this. Otherwise, I have a very good home for this license plate. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to trade this. I'm going to uh, give this to my very good friend M when we do our very first episode of season two of M and Ken's Top Five Battle Royales. I am going to present my friend M with this license plate because she is a supernatural nut. So don't tell her. Let's keep this a secret between you and me because she probably still hasn't subscribed to my channel. Uh, <laughs> now this is really cool. This is the print this month. Um, it's Darth Vader, um, and he's got his little uh, uh, Stormtrooper helmet pajamas, and he's got little uh, Ewok slippers, and he is force choking uh, the heck out of his alarm clock. Uh, that is really, really cool. That is a great print. I'm, I'm not a Star Wars guy, but this is like, if, I'm, if you're going to do something Star Wars, something like this is really cool because this appeals to me because it's just kind of cool looking. Darth Vader's an iconic character. This is just a fun little uh, uh, situation for him to be in. And this is kind of cool. It looks like Nathan Cole, I'm guessing, is the uh, uh, the artist. Um, but this is number four ninety nine of four ninety nine. So that's really cool. Um, that is really really cool. I like that a lot. Uh, that is pretty cool. This will probably have to find us home in a frame because that's super dope. Um, Alright, uh, ooh, okay, I'm gonna hold off on the weapon, god, I hope that's a battery, um, because this is in the bottom of the, the pile, and this is awesome, so a couple months ago, in the 80s box, we got sketch drawings from productions of 80s cartoons, this time around, we got the sketch drawing, but taped to the sketch drawing, is the animation cell itself. So this is an animation cell from RoboCop, the animated series. Are you kidding me with this? I, oh my god, that is amazing. Uh, it was RoboCop Alpha Commando. So this is a one of one item. There is nothing like this in the world. Um, there's nobody has one exactly like this. And this is just Super, super cool. Um, and Ro Robocop is, like, iconic here in uh, Michigan because, um, you know, uh, Robocop takes place in Detroit, and so it's just, like, Robocop is just a super iconic figure. They have been trying desperately to get a, um, a Robocop statue in Detroit, similar to the Rocky statue, which I hope that some way goes down because that would be super cool. Um, and um, they have also, um, uh, there's a, an old friend of mine who I actually went to high school with produces a RoboCop the musical um, here in Detroit. So RoboCop is a iconic uh, Detroit figure and so this is really, really cool. This is an animation cell from RoboCop uh, Alpha Commando the series. That is awesome. That is really, that is really, really awesome. Oh my god. That is so cool. It's the colors are great. That is just super, super cool. Okay, enough is enough. Let's do this. Let's find out what the weapon is. Um, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's a batarang. Um, I'm not gonna hold my breath. Uh, uh, let's see. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. It feels like a batarang. It feels like a ring. It's a ring. It's a battering. Oh yeah, that is awesome. This is. I want to say this is steel. Uh, God, that's cool. Oh my God, I really want to put this through a wall right now. Oh, I want to just like just. I would just want to do it like this. I want to just take it and I want to go right into the wall on the other side of the camera. I would probably hit the camera though because I'm not a good shot. But that is sweet. This is the reason that I got this box. I really, really wanted this. 
Um, and I got it. So that is really cool. This con box has been amazing. Absolutely amazing. If they do this again, I am definitely getting in on this. Um, I like that I was part of that OG 150. Um, and, uh, yeah, this is so super cool. Um, what a great box. Um, the, a lot of people had some issues with the crazy box. It was a little bit, uh, you know, uh, it was a very um, polarizing box, if you will. But this box, any doubts I had about Bandbox, which I had none, but if I did, any doubts I had would be completely wiped away by this. So to recap, I got my Batarang, and nothing else matters in life because I got my Batarang. Uh, ooh, that's loud. I got uh, Darth Vader, uh, choke, force choking the hell out of his alarm clock uh, in his uh, Stormtrooper pajamas and uh, Ewok slippers. Karen Fukuhara's autograph from Suicide Squad. Very cool. Uh, this dope uh, Kansas license plate from Supernatural. The Thanos, the Mad Titan Con exclusive pin. And the Jabba the Hutt sketch card from Bianca Thompson. And then, of course, the most amazing thing I've gotten. I, you know, I think this even passes the, the She-Ra um, sketch that I got in the... Yeah, I think this is just the coolest thing I've ever gotten. This is uh, the, the the RoboCop animation set. One of one. There's This is awesome. So, um, yeah. Okay. This is so cool. This is so stinking cool. I wonder... I, I can't wait to see other people's videos. I love watching Bandbox videos because the great thing is, is not a, nobody else is getting this. You know, nobody else is getting this. Some people might get RoboCop, but nobody is getting this. Okay? Sorry, Batman. Sorry, Joker. Oh, everything's falling apart. No. Okay. Anyways, uh, this this is cool. You know, I don't like Supernatural, but this is still pretty cool. The Karen Fukuhara, cool. This is cool. And this. It's a battery. They sent a battery. A steel battery. Um, so, yeah. Bambox, I love you. Uh, Bambox, uh, I, I, I've made some uh, advances to the fine folks at Bambox to come to the Motor City Comic Con um, this uh, spring here in Detroit. And they are going to have to come to the Comic Con because I'm going to do whatever it takes to get them out here. I have promised cookies. I have promised brownies. Adam, Adam, Matt, guys at Bambox. What do I have to do to get you to come to the Motor City Comic Con? What do I have to do? Because I will do it. I will rent the table. I will do whatever you need. You guys have to come to the Motor City Comic Con. I don't care if you do a box. I don't care what you do. You guys have to come to Motor City. I have to, I have to meet you guys. I have to like hang out and, and just, just tell you guys how awesome you are in person. What do I got to do to get you at Motor City Comic Con? You tell me, Adam. You tell me, everybody else at Bandbox. What do I got to do? What do I got to do? I will do it. I will do it. Brownies? You want brownies? Brownies all day, son. You want caramel brownies? I make the caramel, caramel inside the brownie. Come on. Let's do this, Adam. Come on. I know you're watching. Maybe you're not watching. You're probably not watching. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So, anyways... Uh, Thank you so much, Fanbox. This box has exceeded everything. This box was well worth the money and probably triple it. And, um, yeah, so uh, next month, uh, or this month's box is uh, shipping out probably very soon. Uh, and that month's, that, this month's theme is strange. I'm really excited about that. And they've also, uh, they've announced that watching is the next theme. So if you're a horror fan, you have to get in on Bandbox because I guarantee you the October Bandbox is going to be off the chains if you're a horror fan. Um, so, yes, so I will Bandbox all day. Bandbox all day. If you want to subscribe to Bandbox, I'm going to put uh, their information in the link in the uh, in the description below. If you click on that, that'll take you to Bandbox, and you can order if you haven't already. Uh, if you like this video, hit a like, a uh, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, go ahead and hit the thumbs down. It's cool. I have a Batarang. You can't hurt me, YouTube. You can't hurt me. I have a Batarang. Uh, so if you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. I don't care. I've got a Batarang. 
Uh, and subscribe to my channel because that would be awesome. But again, I don't care. I got a bad right. There's nothing else in life that I need. I, maybe food and water. Food and water and sleep and a bed. That's all you need in life, people. Food, water, sleep, and a battery. All right, I will see you next time. Thank you for watching the dip featuring a battery. It's with the post office. Post office. What kind of crap is that, huh? Huh? It looks literally like somebody stepped on my box. If, by chance, this is damaged in any way, I'm coming for you, post office, because this is the BAM box. You don't jack around with my BAM box, all right? That is totally unacceptable. What is that? What? What? What is that? post office. Seriously. Um, also, uh, this took a strange trip. It arrived in my city on like Sunday, uh, even though it was like delayed. It was supposed to be delivered on Saturday. It like stayed in Phoenix like overnight because it was like, I like the weather here. What's up? And then uh, it came to my city and then my city was like, no, 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 no. We're going to send this to like another city like an hour away. And then that other city an hour away was like, yo, you don't belong here. Go back home. And I'm like, dude, just give him a damn box. Um, and then it came to me. So it arrived late. Uh, it arrived smashed. Um, it, it, it just, and I'm not mad at man box. This is not a man box thing. Because here's the thing, right? This is, this is the post office. This is them. They, they jacked it up. They made the mistake. Um, but I want to say something briefly. I do some customer service uh, as my second job. Um, these things happen from time to time. As you can see, I'm not really all that mad about it. Uh, but I can understand where it would be frustrating. Can I just tell you something? If you, uh, being choked out, uh, it's an interesting, it's an interesting choice, Bianca Thompson, um, to have Jabba the Hutt, uh, being, uh, choked out. Uh, um, very... Very weird, but very cool. I love the design. I love the look of it. Uh, I just like the idea um, of these sketch cards. They're really cool. I may put this up on the Bandbox community um, and see what I can get for it because I think these were pretty highly touted. And I'm not a big um, Star Wars fan, so I might try and see if I can switch this up with something, um, possibly. Um, but I like it. It's, it's cool. It's unique. It's different. And then they also they put it in this protective case. So, um, it's not going to get damaged, which is really cool because something like this is a collectible. You want to keep it as good as possible. This, I believe, is my weapon. I'm going to hold off on that. There is a pin! Oh, hey, there's a pin! Ooh, it's Thanos! It's the Mad Titan Thanos. Um, this is a con-exclusive pin. I wonder if there's numbers on it. I don't know for sure if there would be. Um, it's not a variant pin, so probably not. Uh, nope, it just says Bambox exclusive. There's no numbers on this. This wasn't... Um, I don't know if there was a variant to it or not. Um, they've been doing the gold and black variants, but I think they've been switching that up. Um, so I'll have to see. I'll have to check out some other videos. I'm sure other people will be... So there's two items in here that are one of a kind. Um, and one of them is a sketch card, which I believe is one of the Bianca Thompson sketches that I did get in last month's uh, Crazy Box. So, uh, let's take a look and see. See, I can't even, like, set it up right. I have to set it this way. Uh, doesn't How are you doing? I can set it this way to open it because it's all jacked up. It won't sit outside. And they got this nice little handle, I guess, for the convention folk to, uh, to carry it around, uh, which is convenient. It's very thin. It's much, much thinner than normal band boxes. Um, and it looks like there's no, like, lid. Usually there's, like, a lid type thing on the inside with a pin. Uh, that is not the case this time. I don't even know if there's a pin in here. Um, but let's take the paper out and see what we got. All right, I can't see anything. Nothing looks damaged. Okay, nothing appears to be damaged. So we are good on that.
I see the one of one card, so we will do that first. There's also, it appears, no one-ups or instant winners in the box, which is kind of cool. Um, everybody kind of is getting the same basic stuff. So, bless you. Was that you, Batman? It sounded like that. It might have been. Or maybe Hawkgirl. Was it you, Hawkgirl? Bless you, Hawkgirl. Okay. Uh, so my one of one sketch card is, yes, it's Bianca Thompson, and um, it's Jabba the Hutt. Uh, have an issue where the post office or UPS or FedEx loses your package. And you call the company that you bought the package from, and you complain to them about that post office or FedEx or UPS losing your package. I'd like to let you in on a little secret. The person on the other end of the phone hopes you die. Because really, honestly, it's not their fault. So I'm not mad at Bambox. I'm a little pissed off at the post office. I'm going to say something to my postal lady if I ever see her, but I don't. Um, but hey, at least she knocks on the door now when the boxes arrive, instead of just dumping them on the porch. So I guess baby steps, right? Baby steps onto my bad box. Okay, so let's open because I'm so excited to open this thing up. I can't wait any longer. Um, I really don't know what's in here. I know that there's a weapon. Uh, and that's really what like threw, I was like, I gotta get it. They said there's a weapon in here. I am hoping, I am hoping for a bad rank. Like, I would, like, yeah, like, I, the rest of this box could be hot garbage, and I would be cool as long as there was a bad rank in here. I know that there was a 80s collectible that I guess wound up being, like, an elf or a E.T. thing, but since there was some issues getting these out uh, on time anyways, uh, Bambox actually upgraded to a, uh, a one-of-a-kind sketch card. Bam Box, the Salt Lake City Comic Con exclusive Bam Box. This is one of what I like to call the OG 150. That's right, don't hate the player, hate the game. I got in on the first 150 of these that were made available by the awesome, awesome, awesome team at Bam Box. Um, they made a few of these available to non-Salt Lake City Comic Con folks, and I picked it up, and um, I was, like I said, I was able to get in. The site went bonkers. Everything went haywire. People were mad. Oh, they were mad. Um, and they've changed the way that they're doing it now, but that's okay. I don't care. I am in the OG 150 for the BAM box. Uh, the only complaint that I do have, um, and it's not with you, Bambox, 